This is Brian, and welcome back to this commentary playthrough of Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. So we started the Doom Castle last time, and we got to this point where I... Th I was gonna say, can you just go around this guy? But no, it won't let you, so... You gotta talk to him to start the fight here. Dolrus Rex. Well, I don't know. That seems like a better name than Flamorous Rex. The guy we fought in the volcano. I do have quite a few seeds, so I can afford to use some magic up here. And let's see how Flare does. I don't think I've used that yet. Not a really great start to the fight. At least we got the two sidekicks out of the way, though. I just want to see which one's stronger against him. This player did like 2200. Yeah, Flair is better. And he is weakening quite a bit already, so... Doesn't seem like he's probably going to be as tough as um, Azuzu was. Yeah, I think this is already on his last form. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so that was surprisingly easy, kind of. And now I think we're... Okay, so yeah, that was just the entrance into the bottom part of the focus tower here. And I think this will go up to that other door. Yeah, exactly. But now, I guess this is the Doom Castle proper. And I think the way this goes is you do have to just climb these stairs here, but they'll be blocked off until I go into this floor and, um take care of either all the enemies or find a switch or something. There might be a boss on every floor. I don't remember for certain. You guys are doing that kamikaze attack quite a bit now. They didn't seem to be doing that before. I oh, yeah. am. Cerberus. Have we seen these guys before? I know I've seen the three-headed dog, like a different type of enemy, I think. Yeah, and this is like the... Like the Ice Palace. But I suppose that bottom floor was supposed to be like the Bone Dungeon. For the Earth Crystal floor. And this will be the Water Crystal floor. And then there will be a Fire Crystal, fire crystal and a Wind Crystal. Kind of guessing, but I it makes sense at least. Hopefully these floors aren't as long as the dungeons that they're meant to represent were. And I don't think they would be, otherwise I'd be here for like a week yet. But I think... I think we should be able to get it done and probably... more days after today. We'll see how this one goes, at least. I was gonna say, if that hit, I was gonna get a game over there. Come 
Well, certainly take a while if all the battles go like this. Wasted one there. I don't really like the way the menu commands on the magic and the item usage. A little clunky or... I don't know. Maybe it's just because I'm so used to the way other games do it. A little less intuitive for me. I think I'm going to go ahead and stick with the sword here. That claw doesn't seem to be working out as well as I would like it to anymore. Okay, so... Got a bunch of places where we can hook shot across. Well, I need to hit this switch, it looks like, so. And that'll open up another one, so I might as well do this first. Phoebe's physical attack with that bow isn't really that great. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna try to see if her spells would work better. That wasn't really that great either. Guess we'll stick with the bow and I'll just have to count on Fred to do the heavy lifting. Now, which way to go first? Let's try this. See where this one goes. Okay, so yeah, since you can't turn there, it'll only let you go one way. I can't go through that way yet. We could hook shot over there, um, but let's check this out. Before I do that. I thought this would be a door I can go in, but it doesn't look like it. Guess this is where I have to go. And this will probably open that door. Yeah. But since I'm over here anyway, why don't we check this path out first? Yeah, at least he can take out those guys in one hit with the sword now. Not quite on them. Ah, come on. Hopefully one more hit from Phoebe, they'll finish off the Thanatos guy. Stay down this time. Alright, yeah, more arrows. Okay, I guess I need to do this because I'm going to need to hit that switch. And let's see if he can get these guys in one hit. Alright, nice. I kind of want to get rid of the shadow though, and I don't think another hit from her will do it, so let's have Fred finish him off. Oh, and she got a critical, or was that just a weakness for the enemy? I wasn't paying enough attention. <laughs> won't quite let you get there. I guess overall, I think I've been routing it fairly correctly thus far. Okay, if that opens up that door so you could go through that way now. I 
And here I can jump that down. And then this will loop around so that I can I can go through through the back door this way. Yeah, I did look up the uh, Mobius crests, and there were some other temples and stuff I could have warped into, so I did miss a few, but yeah, it wasn't going to be for any various items, and plus, I mean, we have everything in our inventory now already, so I know that there wasn't going to be anything else as far as missable stuff. Yeah, that's still enough to take that guy out, though. I guess these are weaker enemies that I haven't seen in a little while. Kind of interesting that they put them in here with other tougher enemies. Okay, yeah. So, is it going to be the same guy I fought in the pyramid, or just a reskin of him, I wonder? Stone Golem, so yeah, it's not the ice one. Nice. It went off first, so that should take care of the Cerberus dogs there. Okay, well, it's not great that she's confused, but at least she doesn't deal as great a damage. Eh, and she hit him anyway, so. Damn it. Now, if her confusion doesn't wear off, I might be in trouble here. But it did. Don't kill her. Yeah. Okay, well, plus it's just the way it's gone down for me. This guy seems a lot tougher than the, what was it, the Skull, Skullerous Rex guy? Okay, that's one of his weaker attacks at least. If I could just land some attacks on him, probably won't last too long. Player didn't really seem to work that well, though. Yeah. That instant kill he's doing there is a pain in the ass. Uh -huh. He's out. Let's just attack. I'll have her keep using magic. On his last form, at least. Hopefully, that'll do it. And that should take care of those blocks, then, I guess. Fastest way to get back, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so not nearly as long as, like, the pyramid had been. And yeah, here's the volcano level done. Um, let's just, since I have plenty of them, just use a couple of those seeds so I got my magic full. Are these going to be used for hookshot, I guess? Okay, so I can come back there from the other side. That's probably the way to get out of here.
I think Cerberus is probably the toughest out of these enemies. Good start. This just take me back. Oh, it's a different area. Yeah, well, it'll be a little tougher, especially if they get to go first. Yeah, well, just one of them did. And that guy's gone. Yeah, let's petrify. It doesn't land. That's nice. Arrows are maxed out again. There's the boss. I guess this just loops around. So you wouldn't have to fight this guy. Let's take on Cerberus first there and get rid of him. And let's try this. Yeah, good enough. Yeah, I think I've explored all the ways I could go from that direction. Alright, yeah, so this will bring me back here. Well, no, that doesn't do anything. I think I see what I need to do. Need to hook shot across over there. like a little mini puzzle. It's not too difficult. Uh, do that one first again. Is this just the way to get out after I beat him, it looks like? Yeah. Because then you can just shoot across this gap. I guess I'd have to beat this guy at some point to get out of here anyway, unless I wanted to backtrack the long way. Actually, I guess I don't know if he could at this point, because I had to hookshot across that one gap Probably isn't a way to get back or cross it. Oh. If these floors are all relatively short like this, I might actually be able to finish it up tomorrow. We'll see. We have to see how long the ending's gonna be, too. If I can get that done and put in a short review. Yeah. <laughs> 
Might as well refill before we go into the fight. Twinhead Wyvern. These guys are fire enemies. I wonder if Flare's gonna hurt them or not. I don't know if it's considered to be fire based. Yeah, it is fire. Well, Meteor then. Okay, that works. I might try white with him though too, just to see. It does a little better. Hers did better, but that might just be her magic is higher. Yeah, Meteor was better for him. Don't want to push it too hard here and get wiped out, so... Yeah, go ahead and heal. He'll be going down shortly anyway, the way it looks. Have her try to heal herself. Because if he hits her again, yeah, with that spell, that would have wiped her out, probably. But we got him before she cured herself, anyway. Get out of here and head up to the wind floor, I guess. I suppose that'll be kind of modeled after what Pazuzu's tower was like. And I don't know if there's another floor to go after that or if it's a boss battle. I think you can actually fall down here. Okay. Yeah, I just wanted to... Kind of check and make sure at the beginning there before I went too far. I thought it would drop me like right at the beginning of this floor though, but it wasn't quite. So, you want to be careful with that. And yeah, these areas can actually walk through there. I can use that to get to the top level. I don't know. I'm going to explore it all anyway, so... It doesn't matter which one she hits now because she could finish either one of them off. Seems like Fred's always going before she does, too. With some of the other party members, it's kind of. kind of varied a little bit. Okay, and now from here, I can't fall off on this part. Oh yeah, and I forgot these guys do that healing shit. In that case. Why don't I focus on them first? Ah, he's not strong enough to take them out yet either on his own. But I guess, yeah, these are guys that were just in the last tower, so it wasn't that long ago, so my level's not that much higher yet. There we go.
As long as Fred goes first, you should be fine. This just goes for that. Well, I guess. Exploration is always okay. I was a long way around up here for just that. Do we take... I suppose the Chimera, the Chimera next, because the Crab's not very tough. Yeah, he still can't take that guy in one hit either. And I think either one of them can finish the crab on their own, so that's fine. Okay. That leads for us to be able to go down there. Well, yeah, let's just see where that leads to quick. Before I go back. There you go. That bastard. This bastard. to an area here where I could fall off if you go to the sides, so watch out for that again. Good. Test. enemies down in here too. I don't know if it really matters which one of these guys I take out first. They seem fairly equally bad. Although I suppose that Cerberus does have that I think he has one of those instant kill attacks. So, yeah. Still alright to have him as the top priority. Probably should have done Thanatos first. Okay. As long as we get to attack before you heal the guy. I'm fine with that. So I've gone through... Gone around quite a bit of this room. I don't think I've seen the objective yet. I don't think I've seen the boss. Maybe he's in the middle? Okay. Yep. The devil. Is this the path that leads to him? If it is, I guess I'll just go ahead and fight him first and then backtrack to mop up the rest.
Yeah, that paralyze can really be a pain. Seems to last for quite a while. Alright, let's go ahead and heal up there, and I think we'll actually call it there for today. We did end up facing three bosses, so we got quite a bit done. We'll pick up here next time and finish this floor off and see what's left. Anyway, if you've been enjoying the content so far, please like, comment, and subscribe or follow. And we'll catch you next time.